Hi everybody on YouTube, this is Variety Stick and today video I'm going to show you how to bypass the Google activation screen if you have the Samsung Galaxy S6. Actually if you have a Galaxy Note, a Note 5 or Note 4 or any of the Galaxy, I believe this method it's going to work no problems. We are actually, where actually as you guys can see here this device was reset so to continue you have to sign in for the Google account so, but the problem is you may don't know what the Google account was on the phone because you may buy this phone out online or eBay or any website or maybe some people from the street or Craigslist or stuff like that so in this video I'm gonna show you how to actually can remove the activation screen uh, it's gonna be a step by step and uh, watch this video it's gonna be very helpful for you Before we start guys, I want to just pay your attention that you need to buy a piece like that. I'm going to try to put uh, a link where you can actually buy this piece or you can buy OTG cable. Uh, this is actually from this side is a mini USB as you guys can see this is a mini USB version 3 and the other one this USB A which is the ones that go inside uh, the computer or a laptop and it has 16 gig of uh, memory it doesn't matter uh, how memory you have because the file is going to be a few megabytes which is not that big so you can go ahead buy any amount size this piece actually should go inside the phone and it will pop up actually as a flash drive and you will see uh, there is actually inside this one saved already a uh, file to bypass the Google and uh, we're gonna do this together guys just watch this video carefully and after that you should be able to bypass by factory reset the phone and you should be having no problems the reason why because people they may buy the phones from eBay or Craigslist or online or people on the street and they actually they forget to actually for factory reset the phone before so you may have that issues uh, that's gonna go ahead and actually insert this one inside and go ahead a step by step show you how you can actually fix that problem now all you need to do as you guys can see it's uh, still like uh, need to be reset insert this one also for people they have some difficulty to download uh, the file also they can uh, find the link for my Facebook uh, on the description below and they actually I will attach that file for them and here is the file which is already downloaded you have just to click and uh, trying to just put package installer and say always or once doesn't matter because you're not going to do that and then actually you have to go to unknown source and make sure that the unknown source is active and just hit ok now you're going to be able to install that file so go ahead and accept and once it's installed you have to open as you guys can see now you have access to the settings in the phone where you actually have to go back up and factory data reset and reset device and it take about I believe uh, only just uh, maybe a minute because the Samsung Galaxy S6 is really fast phone you can just go ahead and remove this one just want to be with you guys step by step I'm not gonna even skip that video so now you just finish with this one because the phone uh, actually uh, we did a factory reset for it so you guys are not gonna uh, use this anymore that was just only a file you need to download the application where they can take you to the uh, settings and then you can actually factory reset your phone and then once the phone is gonna reboot I believe you should be able to just jump on the Google account and you can just do your own Google account or create a new one and it, there will be no problems so I'm just right now waiting for uh, to give me the activation screen where guys want to show you uh, that the problem should be fixed and if you guys have a Samsung A9 or A7 or any one of the newest version that has Lollipop 5.1 or Marshmallow this method it's gonna work with no problems if you have the Samsung so 
this is actually uh, cost me about ten dollar only which is is a damn worth it to buy which is actually you can uh, save your stuff and I use it also to bypass some the uh, phones that has some issues unfortunately not all phones support uh, the OTG but a phone like Samsung has no problems so I want to just go ahead guys I want to skip this anyways I want to say next and I agree as you guys can see I mean you should be able now to skip with no any issues as you guys can see but before you have to put Google account and I wish that video was very helpful for you if you did find this video helpful for you you can leave the thumbs up on the video also you can comment yeah, for if you have any question also you guys can subscribe for more videos like that and thank you so much for watching as always guys I'm gonna see you in my next video peace